people have birth certificates. He doesn't have a birth certificate. Now, he may have one, but there's something on that birth, maybe religion, maybe it says he's a Muslim, I don't know. You don't believe that Senator Obama is a Muslim? Of course not. I mean, that's, you know, that there is no basis for that. You know, I take him uh, on the basis of what he says, and, you know, there isn't any reason to doubt that. Our current president came out of nowhere. Came out of nowhere. In fact, I'll go a step further. The people that went to school with him, they don't even know, they never saw him. They don't know who he is. I want him to show his birth Why? certificate. Why? There's something okay, on that well, birth certificate that he doesn't like. Oh my God. Oh, not, not Clinton herself or her staff, but her supporters. Some of her passionate supporters were kind of grasping at straws for you know, reasons he could be ineligible to run for president. Some of them said, well, maybe his father's a foreigner. Maybe that means he's not a citizen. Okay, what is he, baby Jesus? There was a sophisticated conspiracy to smuggle this baby back into the country. So I just dismissed it. But you made a big deal out of it. If you are going to be the president of the United States, you have to be born in this country. And there is a doubt. Uh, we'll look at that. Maybe I'm going to do the tax returns when Obama does his birth certificate. I have watched with uh, amusement. Here it is, right here. And yes, it's the long form. We can get on to issues, and hopefully when I sit down with interviews, people don't start talking about birth certificate, birth certificate. Hillary Clinton and her campaign of 2008 started the birther controversy. I finished it. Barack Obama was born in the United States, period.